Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com. In this tutorial, we will look at creating a frequency table in Excel. So I've got a list of exam grades, kind of scores on the left hand side for 34 pupils I believe. 34 pupils we have. So down to row 37. And on the right, I would like to create a frequency table. I want to break down each of them scores and group them in these classes. So I want to know how many scores were between the range of 31 to 40, how many between 41 to 50, and so on. Now to do this, I'm going to use a function called count ifs. So I want to count how many times they occur, um, any values that meet more than one condition. And that's what the count ifs will do for us. So going from cell F4, the first one in the table there, I'm going to write equals count if s, count ifs. Counts the number of cells in a range that meet a given set of conditions. Open in bracket, criteria range 1, what is your first criteria range? That is... Our only criteria range and it is C4 down to C37. C4 to C37. So I can see that written in the formula bar above as well as there. And I've got to press F4 to fix that range. Because when I copy this formula to the other cells within this table, I do not want that reference to move. Stay in row 4 and row 37. Comma. Criteria 1, what is your first criteria? Now in speech marks, all these double inverted commas, we always use them when we use a logical expression within count if or count ifs function. I'm going to ask if it's greater than or equals to the number 31. Because that is the lowest value within that interval, that class. Comma. Criteria range 2 will be the same, C4 to C37, which I'll use dollar signs to fix or make absolute. And this time I'm asking if it is less than or equal to 40. <clears throat> so is it less than or equal to 40 scores? Closing bracket on the end and enter and apparently there are five scores within the range of 31 to 40 now with that done and our references fixed we should be able to copy that formula to the other cells so that references remain looking in the right place but change the range that it's looking within so that will take a few seconds to get going but once that is in jobs are good un, and we have ourselves a frequency table all the classes distributed amongst this range so it seems to wish I had a little macro just to do this a bit quicker than what I've got here what I'm hoping to identify is the range 51 to 60 is our modal class it is the most frequent class within here or well, I certainly think so we're about to see our last one which only comes up with five so yes number nine 51 to 60 is the modal class that is the, the greatest frequency is within there but we can see the distribution uh, with a different classes now. We have ourselves a frequency table in Excel.